Hello and welcome to this introductory video produced by the New Mexico Environment Department related to the Air Emissions Inventory Reporting application and its new use of XML technology with reporting. This particular session has a number of goals. We want to provide you with an overview of XML technology in general. What is XML and why is it used? And what is an XML schema? We also want to demonstrate XML use with the AEIR application. How does it work in relation to the application? And let's have a current look at the AEIR XML schema. So, what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It is a language used to describe data. The language defines a set of rules for creating documents that are both human and computer readable. And a set of open standards defines the full XML specification. What is the value of XML? It's easy to understand, both by technology that's processing the files and as well by people who are looking at the file. You can use it to describe and identify information accurately and unambiguously. It's very well organized. It provides consistent use and handling of information. It's also standardized, which provides a robust format for data transmission and interpretation with a common syntax. Many applications can take advantage of it and use it and understand each other's data. And it's also free to use. It provides a system that reduces errors through a handshake, in our case, between facilities and the reporting system itself. What you see here is a very straightforward XML example file. This is not one related to the AEIR application XML file, but one that demonstrates how an XML file looks in general. What you can see here at the top of the file itself is some header information that identifies the document as an XML document. The contents of the document itself, seen here, are made up of a series of tags that delimit the start and end of each piece of information. You'll see that each is identified by a tag text, in this case order person, and it ends with the same tag text with a slash in front of it. In this manner, the data is organized in such a way that it is both human readable and can also be processed by systems. The information is all stored such that it contains everything that's required to specify what's required as part of the file. So, what is an XML schema document? An XML schema provides a language that gives rules around an XML document. It defines the field names by those tags that we saw on the previous slide, their type, the number of occurrences, and other types of information to give the form that an XML document has. It allows us to validate that what is entered on an XML document meets the criteria for what is needed in order to successfully process the document. Here is an example of an XML schema file. The header information that you see at the top of this text document is very similar to what you'd see in an XML file, except that it indicates that there's a schema to be related to it as well. The tag elements here define their name, their type, and the number of occurrences of each of the data. And all of this is used to validate the contents of what is here. So for example, this data type where there's name, address, city, state, and country, the types are defined as strings. Any types of information can be added. Whereas below, under the, this complex type for quantity, the type must be a positive integer. So in terms of putting the order together for this schema, a number must be provided. And these are the set of rules that define a valid XML file. New functionality is available within the AEI application to accommodate XML data imports. An XML file can be created, validated against an AEIR schema file, and then imported into the AEIR application. After import, the data is populated in the AEIR application, where it can then be modified, reviewed, submitted, and approved by the facility. The AEIR XML schema file will be able to be downloaded from the bottom of the main page of the application. 
Clicking on this link within the application will allow you to download the latest XML schema file, which you can then save to your local machine and it can be used to validate your XML file before uploading it to the AEIR application. What you see here is the first part of the AEIR XML schema file. It lists all the facility data where you can specify more than one facility per file. And within each facility, you can list the details of the facility, including the agency interest ID, the reporting year that you're reporting for, as well as comments and the various set of subject items. Each subject item will detail the equipment ID, designation, and any of the other information, including emissions that are related to that particular piece of equipment. Please see the complete schema for full tag and field names and details. What you see here is an example XML file prepared for AEIR for a fictitious AI numbered 9999. The start of the file indicates the facility information with the unique agency interest ID 9999 delimited by the tag information, the reporting year, and comments related to the facility. All equipment related to the facility is contained within the facility subject item tag. Within it, you'll see the equipment ID, its status, and operating information such as hours per day and percents throughout the season. You'll also see comments related to the facility. Furthermore, emissions information can be found within the subject item emission tag. This can be repeated for each emission within the piece of equipment at the facility. Within it, you'll see the EPA pollutant description. You can also provide an EPA code for that pollutant, as well as the amount, the unit of measure, and the calculation method used. As soon as a valid XML file has been created and validated against the XML schema for the AEIR application, it can then be imported into AEIR. Since the XML file can support multiple facilities and multiple years, you have the option within the AEIR application to choose a specific facility if you'd like from the file and or a specific reporting year. At this point, use the Browse button to find and locate the XML file that you wish to import into the AER application. After you've selected that file, use the Import button below to start the process. The system will then take the XML file, it will try to parse it, and load the data into AER. If errors occur, you will be presented with them, but if successful, the facility data will be successfully imported as an AER submittal document. One of the new features of the XML functionality within the AEIR application is the ability for facilities to export the data that NMED currently has for them. This data will be exported as an XML file and it will meet the format expected as part of the AEIR XML schema. This data can be exported from AER in one of two ways, either from the main page of the AEIR application itself or it can be accessed from within the facility information page, which you can find by clicking on the link to a particular facility on the AEIR homepage. In conclusion, these changes to the Air Emissions Inventory Reporting application offer facilities a new way to provide their facility emissions information to the New Mexico Environment Department. However, this is just the first step in providing XML support. Future enhancements to the application will provide functionality to allow for the creation of new pieces of equipment within the facility, as well as provide additional enhancements to support the usability of the XML. Thank you for your time today. We hope that you are able to take advantage of the new XML capabilities offered by the AEIR application. If you do have any questions, comments, or require additional information, please feel free to contact the Air Quality Bureau, in particular Eric Peters, who can be reached by email at eric.peters at state.nm.us.